Well, once again, there's much happening on the labor front and the annual wage round's about to start. In fact, it's already kicked off with the finance union SASBO having done a deal with Standard Bank for an 8.5% pay rise and a 7% performance bonus. Not bad. The post office unions have also been vindicated yet again. They're not the ones, the unions, who are creating a loss of jobs. It's incompetent, bungling management. And this is what I was going to write about this week in my Inside Labour column, which you'll be able to get on this platform, Fin24, tomorrow, and uh, in print in the City Press on Sunday in the business section. But I was going to do that until I heard President Jacob Zuma requesting input from us, the public, for the State of the Nation Address. This seemed to be following in the footsteps of Trevor Manuel. I don't know how many of you remember the Tips for Trevor, which used to be asked for before every budget announcement in Parliament. But did you know, all of this is done in advance. The budget is already set in stone, so to speak, and the State of the Nation Address has already worked out. So what it does do by asking for these tips or inputs to the State of the Nation is giving the impression of public involvement. And this caused, I don't know if it ever happens to you, get a song gets into your head, it goes on and on, you just cannot remove it. A line from a freedom song of the early 1960s that went, uh, the state of the nation, the freedom of the land shall be judged by the vote of man, oh yeah. Well, don't judge the vocal out, uh, output. Just think of the words. What did it actually say? What it actually seemed to imply was that once we had universal suffrage, votes for all, we would all have a direct say in what was going on. Real direct democracy. It hasn't happened, I don't think so, and I think that was very, very naive. Now, you may agree or disagree. That's over to you, but I'd like to hear what you think of our nation, the state of the nation, what we should be focusing on. What is the most damaging aspect? What are the best aspects? Let me know. You can send your contributions to editor at fin24.com. That's editor at fin24.com. Because of this, I decided in my Inside Labour column to focus on the state of the nation and what I think about it. And you can comment on that too. I really would appreciate it. I want to hear your views and also why, for example, I feel it's quite a different state of the nation this year because all the TV stations and radio stations that are covering this event, which is normally a predictable and fairly boring thing, think they're going to be having massive record viewer and listenership ratios. So let's hear what you think about that. I'd like to hear from you, and you know what it is. It's at editor at fin24.com. So once again, from me this week, cheers.